Hello Internet Dwellers, I'm Oki and if you clicked on this video, it means you are already familiar with the Juon franchise. In 2014, they released Juon Beginning of the End, which was basically a reboot. It was a reboot. And if you haven't seen my video review for that film, I'll keep it short and say that I actually really enjoyed it. This film, on the other hand, I did not enjoy quite as much. So Juon the Final Curse is actually a sequel to Beginning of the End, and it starts off right where the last film left off. Yui, the main character in the first film, had some questionable whereabouts at the end of the film. Let's just put it that way. So in this film, it's only a matter of time before her sister realizes Yui's been gone for quite a while. Like all the other Juon films in the franchise, the film is separated into different chapters uh, with a character name for each chapter. However, I'm not going to go into all the characters, but Mai is one of the main characters, and there's also another main character named... What the hell was her name? Rail. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to focus too much on Mai, because I feel like if I say anything else about her, it'll be a big spoiler. But also, the sister looking for her other sister has been done before in The Grudge 2, so it's not really anything new. The other character in the film, Rail, is in high school. Uh, she does not have a father, and she lives with her mom. Now, it turns out that her mom randomly decides to adopt a little boy. Rail is excited up until the first day that he shows up, uh, and he's really weird, and he doesn't talk to them. He just stays in his room all day. Kind of sounds like me when I'm not at work. But soon everyone in her house starts experiencing very weird things. I mean, duh, it's a horror movie. What I am about to say right now is not a spoiler because honestly, you'll probably figure it out in the first 10 minutes. The little boy that ends up being adopted by Rail's mom is none other than Toshio. Now at this point, Toshio's already dead, so I was definitely kind of confused. How did a ghost end up getting adopted by a nice family? So of course the film cuts back and forth between Mai and Rail, and of course all their friends sometimes revealing more origins of the Saiki family, and sometimes just trying to develop the characters. Now, it's sort of implied, and I'll go ahead and put spoiler warning, it's sort of implied that Toshio is a much older entity in this reboot. I must have totally missed it in the first film, but apparently he entered Kayako's body before she gave birth to the child. So while that wasn't very apparent in the first film, it they made it more clear in this one. And that's sort of why I liked the first film. They did try to change a few things, and it, it ended up working in the end, I thought. Obviously, it wasn't as good as the originals, but... So the concept of this sequel sounded decent, to me at least. I thought it sounded great. But the execution was kind of off. For one thing, there were a million pointless and very ineffective scares throughout. They were sort of scares for scares' sake. Um, in a typical Hollywood fashion, even though this is not a Hollywood film. And not only that, but the film itself isn't really that interesting. None of the characters were interesting. A lot of the scenes that they redid from previous films were done in a very ineffective way. And I don't know if maybe by this point it's just overdone. I mean, we've already had Juan the Curse, Juan the Curse 2, Juan the Grudge, Juan the Grudge 2, The Grudge, The Grudge 2, Juan White Ghost, Juan Black Ghost. You'd think the main focus for this franchise would be to try doing something different. And unfortunately, this film did not do so. There's one scene towards the end with Yui and Mai that I thought was really effective, mainly because the actress playing Yui did a phenomenal job. So overall, I personally wouldn't recommend the film to anyone. If you're a Juan fan, you're probably going to watch it anyway. If you do happen to watch it, please let me know what you think, because I'm interested to see what you thought. Other than that, I've got nothing else to say about the film. Hopefully Sadako vs. Kayako is a much better film than this. Until next time, stay scared.